Good afternoon, planners. How are you guys? How is everybody? How is your last Wednesday in January? Yes, imagine me on the fourth week. Yes, I said that on Monday. I've seen it again. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone for our normal money talks on a ma on a Wednesday. I've got to put on a Monday. Um, so today again, we're still on the this is the last feature, I guess, for for January we are still on the whole concept of boldness in business right if you this is the first time seeing me my name is Letitia Spray Barrett I am the financial educator at Destiny Planners where we teach entrepreneurs and individuals the importance of managing their expenses to lower their taxes and their debts and to grow wealth for the future right so money talks is all about encouraging bright and upcoming entrepreneurs give them little tips and to help them say their story and get their word out so other people will know okay this is what it takes to become an entrepreneur this is what it takes to be and start that business off right right as we wait on our lovely featured guest today yes and i know you all keep praying i'm only having women but i did have men before so you all don't get Vex and Mona only doing women alone. I did have men last year, so this year, yes, we will do the same thing, right? And if you guys want your business featured, just always send us a message and your business will be featured and we will have fun. Let me just send out, or oh, I forget to do my normal send out to everyone so they will know we are on. Yes, and our feature guest is on already. She not sticking. She not sticking. She's up here, all up in the madness today. I hope you all will enjoy everything she has to teach us, and all her knowledge she will spread to you guys. You all come on in, share. Don't forget to share and let other people know that we are on having fun as usual, always with the madness, <laughs> right? So. Our future guest is Miss Latoya Richards. The sweetest thing about this young lady, she. Well, let me start. Well, we click for the, for the um challenge that I had out for saving challenge. That's the first time I had a conversation with her, and from since then she has been I have been following her. But here now, this girl is putting some food on her page. She's with bags. I want to try to eat properly. And then she put on this nice, luscious, mouth-watering food. And it's like, you're not trying to lose weight. And you're putting on this loving cheese. So, you can see it. <laughs> so with all that craziness, I said, let us officially introduce her. Let us let her tell us about her business, what she does. As I said, she does see about food. So, you know, she could help you with Finding making some nice meals, especially us lovely entrepreneurs who want to make sure we make the make health. So we will be able to have a little longevity and staying healthy because we know our health is our wealth. So let me lay, open the floor now to Miss Richards. Hi, good evening. Good evening, sweetheart. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Okay. Um, hi, everybody. As you all. As she said, I am Latoya Richards. Um, now, we are not kind of shy, but we are fair. <laughs> well, it's you, very low, the volume low. I don't know why. You hear me? Well, I hear you good. Any, I hear you well soft. Any, which one? You hear me soft or you hear yourself? Yeah, I hear you soft. You hear me soft. Right, my volume is all up. Okay, my volume all, right. all up. Yes. Okay, somebody know to adjust my camera. <laughs> so, you see how people are you rap telling you? <laughs> all right, is that better? You all are here. You all see me better? Wait, wait, wait. It must be drop. Right. Good. Everybody say this. We song and good. Right. So let's go. <laughs> yes. So as I was saying, um, 
Right, I'll fix it, I'll fix it, I'll fix it, Candice, I'll fix it, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, I am Latoya Richards, one of Latoya Danella Bacon Services. Going to change the name or readjust the name because I'm into cooking more than I'm into baking. <laughs> but, yeah. That's okay, that's okay. And tell us, okay, what exactly... Are you cooking? Besides all, I know, I know you, you practically say, I know practically when I watch your pages, almost everything possible you can think of, are you cooking? Are you doing more healthy meals for people or just if people cater for an event, they call you? Exactly. That's, that's like I'm hardly hearing anything you're saying. Oh, Lord, are we? Okay. Make sure. <laughs> all right. What I ask is, just, just a second, right? Let me see. If it's your if I could, um... Yeah. Hello? Yes. I'm still here. Yeah. You're hearing, you're hearing, you're hearing. Like, check so, so, but, okay. <laughs> um, okay, so the question was what I cook. Mm -hmm. um, I basically cook everything. I am in love with food. I've been in love with food since I was like nine years old. Mm -hmm. So I've been cooking since then. So I try my hand at everything. Okay. okay. Everything. Everything wouldn't stick, but I try everything. All right. All right. Um, put in into healthy foods. Mm -hmm. Um, once I have the clients, right? I do it. <laughs> Events as well. Yeah. You do that as well. Okay. Okay. As well. Oh. Yeah. So. Is it that people have to order in advance or place an order in advance? Um, or do you have a, a menu? For personal orders. Mm -hmm. For personal orders, um, I usually say like an hour, hour and a half in advance, mm -hmm. depending on the items. And for like events, probably depending on the size of the event, mm -hmm. three to five days or 10 to 14 days. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So you don't do meals every day per se. Do you do meals every, every, every day? Every day you do meals. So, all right, every so day. you like, would you set out like, okay, this is the meal for, say, like tonight, you will set out, okay, this is the meal for tomorrow, so people can place the order for tomorrow. So, is it something like that? Um, what I, what I recently started was, um, where persons can, you know, we feel peckish and with the system that we have now. No. Yeah. With the system that we have now where everything shuts down at 10 o'clock. Okay. People mm -hmm. may, may feel for something at 10 o'clock in the night, but they cannot order at 10 o'clock in the night to 10 o'clock in the night. So Correct. probably like an hour before, mm -hmm. they can place the orders even during the day. If, say, you feel for fail out, Mm -hmm. And I could get two or three other persons to take pill out. You will get pill out. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. So you have a you have a constant flow of customers. Constantly, yeah. Even though we had um people were supposed to be home cooking, they were still calling you to cook. <laughs> well with 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 that, um mm. I I usually think outside the box. So right. when we had the um the news conference stating that um we're going to be locked down and we can be outside and everything, I was like, hmm. Oh, you got the to essentials that. going to be working. So I am going to be somebody have to provide for the essentials. Correct, it's correct. It's going to be me. Correct. So I went to the grocery quick, quick, quick and stuck up on some stocks and say, you know what? Essential workers could contact me whenever, mm -hmm. morning, noon, or night, for a meal. And I did that straight out to the COVID. To okay. the, the, the quarantine. Um, Same. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You see, innovation, that's what I was saying with boldness. Boldness is about being innovative and willingness to look outside the box and to be able to go the next mile that you need to go when you need something to be done, right? Because yeah. you can't run a business without not, be, not having a little more feet. And be able to push yourself to the next level, right? Yeah. 
and believe a lot of faith yes. you need not, not a little more you need a lot because from this is like whew, it's only god can help this but yeah yes because yeah. as most people will say boldness is really and truly believing in yourself because if you don't have that ounce of belief for yourself or will you be able to portray yourself or even push yourself exactly. to the next level right because all right like you just explained you were able to think outside the box and say okay essential people need your food because they can't be going they can't leave where they are to go and get because at least give them a spot that they are right, here come and take a look and you go back where you have to go so that was something really and truly outside of the box i was, I was like the police service i was on the road delivering food for the police service sir anywhere i could anywhere they needed food i was there anywhere that is good that is now you see that is yeah. the kind of stories we want young and upcoming entrepreneurs to understand it's not about okay this is hard concrete this is where i start this is the slab that i'm going to use and it, there's no reason to divert because in business you have to have that flexibility to divert when you need to divert am i not yeah, right? because sometimes where we started Sometimes we might start something out of needing cash or needing money. Correct, correct. You understand? And sometimes we might start it just because, you know what, everybody's starting a business, so let me start a business too. But then when the actual time comes for you to actually stand up in this business, then you would see who really wants to be in a business, who really correct. have the guts or the belly to stand up through it because there are times when it does get hard. True. It has got really hard. Sometimes they're breaking even because is less than normal. It says it's right. less than normal, right. but it's taking it out and crying in your, in your bed in the night and <laughs> praying and wondering what next. But it gets on me next morning. I'm still trying again. I just say that. Share with us one of your boldest moments in the tent, and you really feel like you went down in the valley, and now you have to find your way back up. To the mountain to to reach to to the top. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I have two stories. <laughs> I have two of those stories, right? One of those stories. Well, I used to work in the Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. right, as a telephone operator, receptionist, mm -hmm. and I had just started my business and. Working for a certain salary and seeing that my business billing slowly, and then I was like, um, I would stay home some days because I get in plenty orders. Right, right, right. So I had to choose more between going to work right. and my own business. Right. At the end of the day, this is my business. At the end of the day, this is how I'm feeding my son. Correct. So, Correct. um, I would usually take the day off when I have like an order, mm -hmm. and then I. Uh, Coming down to the nitty gritty, anytime I was like, "How am I going to do this? I cannot." I had a big, a, such a big order, so I could not pass up on it. Right. And I was not getting any time from work. Shucks. <laughs> so I had to make the decision whether I am going to push forward with my business, well, knowing that it would be hard mm -hmm. if I decide to leave this job mm -hmm. or pass on this this order and keep my job right and the decision ended up being where i left i left the job and said you know what if my business is really if i really want to work at my business because the way i used to work there i used to go to work and be smiling and everything i need to do mm -hmm. for the job you understand but mm -hmm. my business now i think to myself if i could do this or that as I put that same energy into my own business, correct, correct, correct. it will be hard. Correct. It does be hard. Correct. But correct. I decided to take that road and push forward my business. Very and good. then the next time is, I was like, with, with, during the COVID, well, during the quarantine period, um, it's like most people, most persons were like saying, um, well, we would take stuff and we would pay. Right. Later. <laughs> later so it's like how am i going to how am i going to put out more stuff for these same people who will be willing to pay later correct correct and then i have i have some orders like it was a really big order like they took a really big order and it was time for them to pay it was like problems i couldn't get them into no contact nothing 
and I did not have no, no stocks, no goods, nothing. And I oh, wanted God. to die. <laughs> because oh, it's like, what next? True. How can I, you know, continue? I was thinking about closing down and forgetting about everything. See, and, and that happened. And then I started everybody. to pray, 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 pray. And I door opened and I was able to continue and it was a simple little mishap that had it, the lines crossed, but Correct. if I had stopped at that point, I don't think I might have started back. You see? See, that's, that's the power of determination. The power of determination. Yeah. You really have to, I always tell people, to be an entrepreneur, if you have to be able to handle you, the hard breaks. You have to be strong. <laughs> yeah, you have to be very strong. <laughs> when you get those yeah, hard Yeah, they will cook food and have no customers. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Yeah. You have to be real strong, you know, because if you don't have a strong heart, you would have long time you get a to attack and cook it. <laughs> it's so, yeah. And you see, like, okay, like, so when you take that plunge, to be a, a full-time entrepreneur. Most likely you would have been scared, as most people are, always scared to take right. that jump. But having taken that jump to know what the time period has passed th thus far, and would you say you regret it? Would you say is at this present moment is the best move you make, especially as a mother, you know, as coming from my mouth, I can say as a mother now, you see the flexibility of doing so much things you could do with your children that you wouldn't be able to do if you was working a normal job. Tell me about your experience when it comes to that. Well, it has been uh, almost two years since I took that step. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, as I said, it's it's great because I could still monitor my son with True. all that is going on now. Mm -hmm. um, he himself has been assisting a lot and he, he could, I could sleep and he could run the business <laughs> and he's only 14. And that is true. <laughs> and he's 14. He, I could go and sleep and he could make the meals and everything would run smooth. That's but true. I just tell everybody um self-employment is the way is the way for me it worked out for me but you have to be determined because it might work out for me because i would continuously push because i know this is this is what i have correct. but you now might see that you have an option and it might correct correct you want to put in the work on it but correct. i think it's the best i think it's the best decision i've ever made in my, in my life correct and you say something very important hard work people don't realize entrepreneurial work is hard work you feel when you become an entrepreneur oh god i can rock back no it's not about rocking back it's now putting in the work you really have, have to put in the work because now you, you wear multiple hats now because you you are the you are the head person is the marketing is is the sales person is like what are you, what is that you're not supposed to do you're doing everything use the whole team Correct. Use the team. Yeah. Correct. And people don't understand that. And I like the fact that you have your son involved because now you are leaving, literally leaving a legacy for him because now he has something. Okay, mommy gave me this now so I could run with this. I could continue this. Like if God forbid, knock on wood, don't make it happen. If mommy close her eye to the other tomorrow, I have something to run with. I know where, I know what mommy did. I know how it started off. I know where to go and and you really and truly has broke. You give him lessons that he ain't healing in his school. <laughs> exactly. Yes, that is so true. Healing that is so that's true. The school at all, at all. Yeah. That is wonderful lessons. And that's a lesson that will carry him and make him be a little more, as I always tell people, you bring a different individual out in the world. And you want more of that type of person now. Because you don't want nobody that, okay, all they know is book work. They don't have that integral value in understanding what it takes. Because, you know, people will say, yeah, you have to do your hard work, blah, blah, blah. But it's totally different when you're actually in it. And people say... Exactly. <laughs> yes, it is. It's much different. Because before, 
when I when I was young and I watched my mother cook and I be like that's so easy I can do that. When it was my turn, it was like, no, I can't do this. I can't. Of course, all right. As you rightly said, I so like comparing eating, cooking now for a family of four to now when you have to cook for, let us say, two to even a hundred people. That is a whole different maths game in terms of calculating how much food to cook and make. So you're cooking enough and it don't be too short and all of these dramas. How is that thing for you? Well, I think I think I solved that problem for really because for me, time I started cook, even if I cook him for two, I must be cooking for about five because <laughs> okay. I was giving somebody food. Okay. So I always cook him more than needed. Okay. You understand? So okay. say I had to cook for two, say I might probably cook for four, say because some extra people might come. You never know. They might have five extra. You know, Correct. I I can't Correct. Them five extra for them. Correct. You understand? Correct. In my Correct. mind. Correct. But um, we may say uh, at a say it um you have to put in your work, you have to put in your homework as well. Correct. Because Correct. even though I didn't go to a culinary school mm-hmm. and I did one list, one short baking course with you or whatever, um you still have to do your research. You have to research, you have to read, you have to watch videos, there's YouTube, there's Google, there's everything, Pinterest, everything. You understand? So you, even though you're putting in the hard work, you have to put in that extra homework. Correct. You understand? Because right. every day is a, it, things evolving, things changing. Correct. You understand? So you might be knowing it this way now, but there's another way that is might be easier. Yes. You understand? It would save you money, it would save you time. So yes. put in the homework. Like I just I just say I would wake up in the morning like about probably half past four. And I'm not waking up to work. I'm waking up to research. Right. So I will be watching videos and watching it over and over to get it in my mind. You know that kind of way? Mm-hmm. So, where, where we might say we, as entrepreneurs, we, we, the time is for when you feel to work or when you're ready to work. You know, you have, you have the freedom to work when you're ready to work. Correct. Between the hours of, my well, for me, from four to probably six or seven o'clock, Mm-hmm. I am studying because after study, you know, what is in what is the new thing in the market? What is what, what 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 everybody doing? You know, mm-hmm. I can't stay stay cooking pillow and everybody cooking <laughs> tiny food on the road. <laughs> you understand? So you have to do your homework. You have to be. You have to be relevant. You know, true. You really have yeah. to be relevant. So you have you have to stay relevant. Correct. Correct. You know? Correct. And then when it start to work now from say. Seven or eight o'clock in the morning, and you finish work. Well, for me, nine o'clock in the night, <laughs> right? I would still lie down on my bed and still go over certain things. You have to go over how your day was. Correct. You have to clean up. Correct. You understand? And I'm forever. Ask anybody who know me; they will tell you I am forever in the kitchen. <laughs> I am always living in it. <laughs> I'm always in the kitchen. I live in the kitchen. <laughs> I live in the kitchen. That's when you know you're ready. So you know what you're selling, doing. I love it. I'm, I actually love it. If I am not selling, as soon as somebody come at me, where you want? Where you want? Where you feeling for? Oh, gosh. You know, so it's straight in the kitchen. Or the meat in the kitchen because I'm always in the kitchen. You know, so this is not your business. No matter what it be. Maybe hairdressing. Maybe food. Maybe cars. Whatever it is, you have to be interested in what you Correct. Correct. doing. Correct. You understand? You have to, you have to pay that interest in it. True. Because nobody's not going to pay for you. True, true. And that and that is important. We what especially young startup business need to know that you're not just starting, all right, to have a great idea and that's it. Yeah, it has to be constant. As you rightly say, you always have to keep educating yourself because things change in a blinker by this morning might have been something by this evening, something totally different happening, and you don't even know. You didn't know what transpired between those eight or six hours and then flip, change, change. Because that is life. Everything changes, everything evolves. So you're ready and truly have to be relevant. You have to put in your work. And you have all the normal things people would normally say, but they don't they still don't understand because they don't feel okay. Well, they're just making that up. That's not true. And true. that is all they just make the thing look so easy. It's not easy. Yeah, but it's, 
It's not easy. It's really and truly. You have to put in your work. And I like how you say that because you know they they tend to always believe or see is only the experienced people will always say this. But you know that you're literally two years old into this thing. So it's not only I seen it who have been here for a while. Other speakers that came on too. They're doing it long time and they say the same thing. So you see, the essence don't change. It don't change. It don't change. The recipe yeah. the same thing, no matter what you put it. No matter what you taste, no matter what it is, the same. It's the same work you have to put in. You true, have to true. put in that same. Yeah. And it's so it it's fun the time you have to put it in. Yeah, and it's but, so nice. But the other day I posted something stating um. Where we need to take time for ourselves. Correct. Correct. Right? Correct. I yes. am one to go, go, go. <laughs> not eating on time, getting oh my. headaches, not sleeping because I'm going constantly. But I, I have learned it the hard way that you have to take that time for yourself. If it's one day self. True. That's take it. that time for yourself. For your mental. For your mental. True. Especially if you have True. children, you need to yeah, also need to spend time with them. True. Or I spend time with my son in the kitchen. True, you but that's still need to different. Spend time yes. with them. At the front kind of time, and yes, that is true. Yeah, right? True. You need to spend time, you need to make sure, because all the money we're making, as you know, see, I set out different little quotes all over. You go spend it back by the doctor. It is Correct. true. And it's true. You ain't saying it is so true. true. Yep. So we may want to make all the money, but you need to take that time to yourself. Yes, yes. And a good friend of mine mentioned to me the other day, you know, it's like, we want to make all the money. We want to work because we have bills to pay and we have all this to do. Mm -hmm. But what about the other people in our lives? Correct. Correct. You understand? So Correct. we have to have a balance, a healthy mm -hmm. balance. Correct. That is the key you word you say there. Yes. Because most of, as you rightly say, most people, when they now start, they don't understand that concept of balance at all because they are so focused on getting the business to a certain level in their head that they think it's supposed to be at. And then they will upset with themselves that they didn't reach that point. Then everybody around them gets any the backlash at that upset. <laughs> and then what what you, what you would have in the end? You would have a business, but what you would have? You yes. understand? Because at some point you need a back end. Correct. You correct. need a back end. Correct, correct. And you that's, understand? that's the importance of support as well. Support is important. Support. Because if you have exactly. that other person supporting you and pushing you on, they will be to tell you, hey, what? You take a break. Take a time out. I will take over. Like, I could personally tell people, when it's tax time for me, I will do some late nights. And then I will hear my husband walk outside and say, it's time to go and rest. You know, you can't be watching the numbers all the time. You go get right. You didn't go finish. Go and sleep. And exactly. <laughs> I just yeah. probably get that buff. That's my buff. If it's not he buffing me, my eldest will come and say, mommy, oh gosh, I see you here now. Follow me. You know, go and take a walk now. Walk. Move from the computer. I will get that buff. And that Balance. support is right. important. That support is important. That moving away and changing the atmosphere. And as you rightly say, giving your brains that break, that mental break. As short as that, during the course of the day when you're doing stuff, take that mental break. Yeah, because we may we may push away people who are around us. Correct. Because we want to push our business forward. Correct. But Correct. not realizing that, hey, you know, this person can give me a taste. They could have taste, but for me, they could have taste and tell me if it was taste. Then yes. Have way or yes. Give me some kind of advice as to, you know. So we, we need to balance, keep these people close. Correct. You understand? We don't push. Correct. We can't push away everybody around us to push our business forward. Correct. Some persons Correct. may say. Some persons may may say that um my business is more important, but correct. Yes, yes, they usually do. They usually do, but eventually, if if say your business come and crash, God forbid, your business come and crash, what more what you would have? Correct. Correct. You understand? After you push on the balance You understand? Could simply also work. True, true, true. And as you rightly say, balance is the key. So you're making sure you're eating right, you're running your business right, you're taking care of your, your health, and you're taking care of the loved ones around you and yourself. So it really has is a lot of things, as we as we said in the earlier, a lot of things to balance. 
is really a lot of things to balance. And we only had 24 hours in a day. How much? We only have 24 hours, exactly. <laughs> so how much more you want to do? And you have to remember, it's only one you. <laughs> it's, you see, so you have to find that time to do you. Yes. You understand? Yes. If it's a walk away for five minutes, so you to breathe, to Correct. inhale and come again, because sometimes we'll be going, 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 and not even realize that, hey, time passed and even eat. You understand? You really don't have to tell me about this story. <laughs> My son does tell me, so mommy, you're just going to go through for to sell a lot, you don't go to go through so tell me for food. <laughs> oh gosh, look why you're bad. You're bad. No, because that is, that is to tell you how much I into the business. Yeah. So, but, but here and all these things, it's things that open up my eyes to certain things in business. You understand? Okay. So, right. when people be looking at business as getting the stuff done and everything, I I hear in a different point of view for my son because he reminded me that, hey, mommy, somebody's still here. Yes, yes. Yes. You know? True. And you went as simple as you saying that your children, especially when they grow with you, with your business, they have a, a integral part of a lot of stuff that go on. So like, for instance, I always tell people, this money talks. This was the idea of my youngest. Initially, it started off for teens. I know it evolved for entrepreneurs. That was just him saying, Mommy, you need to come on and teach people about money. Just how you said, don't talk to me about money and tell me what to do and what not to do and how to save. And all. Other people need to hear it because people don't know what I because I'm watching these children in class and they don't understand <laughs> The thing money is just what's <laughs> as simple as that. You see, so it is valuable. Every person, as you rightly say, in your life, as much as you might think they have some sort of value that they could give you to help your business expand. Because they just come with some crazy ideas. I wouldn't think of it and they will come with and say, you know, I didn't think of that. Exactly. So you have to be exactly. open to the have an open mind to certain things when it comes to you and as simple as you were saying he comes with certain ideas and he might say but mommy why ain't do this <laughs> most of the time I'm my sleep and i see i hear a message coming i was like who messaged me this saturday night and i look at my phone and put my son telling me some video he see with some oh, food day. <laughs> and i try to sleep so i sleep and mommy are up and say no i'm sleeping look at this now <laughs> So, you know, he bring any ideas. He bring any ideas. Vested interest. So you yeah. see, you you really have a you have a great entrepreneur there. So when he come with the ideas, make sure I'm patient and say that is his idea. Don't don't take it for you. <laughs> <laughs> even even when I had the the, the um the saving challenge, right? And um I was like I see I go and I'm start this challenge, and he sat and he was like. You know what? I go and join this challenge too, yes. <laughs> and sometimes I will forget to put the money and he reminded me, um don't forget my money. Leave the boy, leave the boy. That is I, I love to see and you see you are saying that and I know the the relationship that both of you will have will be even stronger than normal. It you yeah. you that that will be a as my son does say, mommy, that's the bonding moment. Because I have two points, so I'm fully aware of that bun is like, it's like chalk and cheese, you know, it, 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 it's, it's going to if keep evolving, he will always keep pushing you, he will literally be your pusher all the time. Yes, he is, he is. He will be a constant pusher, because I can tell you, because my eldest is 60 and my youngest is 15, so it, it, I'm getting competition on both <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You have, you have it too, both ways. Yes, yes. Yeah. They kill me sometimes. Eh? Sometimes I go, gosh, all right, all right. That's enough. But it, it's good. It's good to, to see that teenagers are involved, especially when it is as a young, growing up entrepreneur to get that that value. Man, you don't know what you're giving him. Eh? He, he has value to kill. He's going to become more than what you expect. And that's what we want them to do, right? Well, especially with this with this pandemic thing that's going on now, remember? They're home, so we need Correct. to keep them Correct. active keep them as busy. much as possible. Keep them busy yeah. and show them their simple ways, as simple as being, as I always tell both of my boys, simple as being a teenager. You can start a business from now. You can start a business. There's nothing to give it back. You can start a business. Mommy, manage everything. 
because you can't officially put nothing in your name and then as soon as you get by everything shifts to your name simple as that so yeah simple as that one thing so um if i open this it had to go on my name or it had to go on your name <laughs> Yes. If 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 he can put it on his name, he might not have about twenty businesses already. <laughs> leave the boy alone. Leave the boy alone. And this he thinking he's that mind is clicking twenty four seven. Let it click. Let it go. I think I think twenty twenty has shown us. Oh, um, if some persons in learn it yet, I don't know when, but <laughs> it shows us where the a bella bond, a different bond between parents and children. Yes. Those who are wrong, yes. their children. Yes. And they get to see actually what they into because number most of the times they in school. Correct. So now that we are wrong, then we interacting with them more. We get Correct. at least getting a close and experience as to what they Correct. actually do into or what they want to be. Yeah. Correct. 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 That is true. Yeah. That is true. And 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 parents who really didn't take that or had that initial relationship with them at least they started something between this. Yeah, quarantine period. Something, something spark. I should say something spark. So it's there. I don't. I I cannot say I have that problem because mine just be all up in my business. <laughs> so I am comfortable. <laughs> I am comfortable, but it's it's the sweetest blessings I have to have that lovely interaction with your children. It's the best. It's the best, and they learn more from you, and you learn more from them because remember they. How they view the world will be totally different from you as well. So you learn a lot from them as well. I always tell them that, not because you are young, that don't mean you can't teach me something. Just as how I can teach you, you can teach me. It works both. Yes, exactly. It works both because something you might know or you might see, and you might say, "But mommy, why you don't do it this way?" Say, "I don't know what to do." So, because that's something they knew. You just keep me grounded, I guess. Because yes. <laughs> I might have uh, actually plenty of time. I might have uh, just give up and say, you know what, something else, do something. Nah, nah, don't give up. Don't give up. You're doing very good. I, I must commend you. Are doing very good because I just watch your food when you put. It's like this. You just like you put up food to make people feel hungry. Eh? Every time I watch your face, as I, it was not your. It's, it's two fingers always come up, always seeing your food and somebody else on. As I come on Instagram, it's like. Why are you always seeing your food? I don't want to be. Because I'm constantly posting. I'm constantly on Instagram. I'm constantly pushing, pushing my business forward. I'm constantly pushing yes, it. Yes, you do. Like you I would do. say, like somebody asked me, "Why I'm you know, posting corner picture now?" Or also posting the same picture. So it's not the same picture, but the outcome is always the same because I know what I what I want to portray on my on my page. You understand? I would constantly be posting food. If Correct. I wake up today and I didn't do anything today, I would make something just to post on my to feed. The... <laughs> yeah, to keep it active, to keep it going. True, you know? true, true. Yeah. And you know, yes, and I know from your most well-known food that I always see is corn. That is your well-known food that is constantly on your page, and you wouldn't believe that's one of my <laughs> boy corn. And you, I didn't, I didn't use the corn. <laughs> <laughs> they really say in time and trouble, they really see what is real area really, really point because I never used to eat corn. Mm. My mother and all be like, my, my mother's like, look how you never used to eat corn and that is your biggest seller. Yes. I never used to eat corn. I don't eat corn meal, I don't eat cuckoo, I don't eat corn bread, none of those things. But corn, I'll make it. And I'll mm. make cuckoo, I'll make corn bread, but I don't eat it. But what is this? Yeah. The, the, so, the, that is sometimes it didn't like at all is the thing that actually pulled me out of the ground, I guess. <laughs> yeah? Your childhood, their core. Well, for me, when we were young, it was... It, I, I fri- Saturday was always, you must get a boiled corn. My mom used to like the roast corn. So we always used to have a boiled corn on our Sunday. So that is my weakness. Is it corn? Boiled corn? Yes. My youngest have the same thing. Once you see boy come cook, I just have to make sure I'm teeth my before he gets. <laughs> I used to hear the man I said, man, I used to see that man making a roast corn. I... <laughs> <laughs> and look at you. Look how I can start. It's like, this girl is only be making corn every time I pop up. Does it first? Of course, she's in my temptation, my temptation. Yeah. And it's the presentation, man. You, 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 the quality of your pictures, sometimes it's like, Damn it! Looking like it really looking for you. The, 
if you could have eat to the petty I feel I would have eat the petty that's that's my goal that's what I was that was traveling for <laughs> and you really do yeah. it you really and truly do it because each one your petty looks luscious that if the petty was alive you could have actually put your hand and eat it I must commend you and your petty is a perfect eat I don't, I don't know if you, you do photography well, but what? before <laughs> before I had a kind of old phone and um the pictures used to be coming out. I used to be like, no, no, don't, don't post a picture. Right? Don't show nobody that picture. <laughs> and then I had an ex and he was like, ma'am, that's not looking right. Fix that. <laughs> and then he came and he showed me little things. Not an, an, I didn't even go to another class. And he came and showed me little things that, you know, fix it up your plate and take out your pictures. And, then, and I was like, oh, for real. Mm. He took my eyes. And then I started to push forward with that. Okay. So, okay, well, I will tell you, your pictures just look damn good, eh? Right. Because, and, and yeah, that was talking about just now, where, where I say I meet everybody around here, because when I wasn't seeing certain things, he was, he was seeing certain things. Correct, 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 yeah. correct. He was seeing that, hey, that picture ain't looking too right, you know? Yeah. You know, so, yeah. The, the outside opinion is always better, because remember, when you're inside the box, you will not see. It's always somebody who always have a lot of knowledge here and mm, that is looking good. Do that over. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't need the outside person to tell him mm, that is looking good. <laughs> Just really need that outside person. Anybody have any questions you need to ask? How do you see people only popping in, popping in? You all don't forget to introduce yourselves, please. And this is the lovely Latoya Richards. Yes, she loves to cook and make you feel fat by watching the pictures but you're not gonna get fat by eating no you're not you're not <laughs> oh, so if you all have any questions you can ask so feel free to ask don't forget to say what type of business you have somebody inside him and want your services you don't know you can even call a toilet to come and cook some food for you it's carnival you know everybody have their virtual parties as they say virtual parties you get yourself involved in those virtual Food fets encouraging people. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Mr. Fudgy. Hi, good evening. <laughs> he said hi, good afternoon. And you know, the time what it is, right? It does uh, it's amazed me that I am this in the cooking now because before I went to CCC, mm -hmm. right? And I went to cook because I had I had like cooking. Cooking was everything for me. Mm -hmm. But when I went to register and it was given us our to choose our courses, I was like, you see me? I don't think I have all our quarters school patients, man. <laughs> so I ended up going into cosmetology. Oh, shoot. Yeah, That's I went into cosmetology and, and graduated most outstanding in cosmetology. Okay. Yeah. And then I was retained to teach for two years after mm -hmm. as a assistant tutor teaching mm -hmm. cosmetology mm -hmm. so that was something else that I was into so you know it was like I could do here I could cook food I have certificates for, for coming here but correct I'm into food you know so correct. I guess um is Dr. Miles Manuel he said mm -hmm. your skill will make room for you correct you understand correct so it's like Coming here something I like, but cooking food is something I love. So I would cook if, if I I could um cook food today and have two women and go in town to give it out to the to the homeless and song. Right. And I find like, oh gosh boy, and you have two. I I would try to come back home and make something else to go and give them again because mm -hmm. you know, I feel so bad. That you, you, know, can so, only, you can only give two. Uh, <laughs> you know? So when I think about it sometimes I'll be like should I have stayed in cosmetology? If I would have been happy, you know, com this comfortable, and I don't think so. I listening don't think I want to be happy. Mm, listening to you and hearing your passion and watching, just from the outside, watching your page, listening to you from the first time when we first talked to now, mm -mm, you, you hit the right destiny. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Food think was really a love. <laughs> Cosmetology, yeah, that's a sidekick. Maybe later on, you <laughs> can go back to the sidekick, but the original was really cooking. <laughs> even even when I went to the UE class to do like um, bread cakes and pastries, I was like, 
I only come here so don't make five. They five. <laughs> <laughs> I tell the teacher this. I am telling the teacher the first time class miss but me making five because I that is all I come here to make. <laughs> oh, what the teacher say? Every time I make something, I say complain it. And I'm making five, boy. <laughs> That's all I want to know. I'm making five. Because in my mind, I could sell five. Correct. And make some money. Correct. Yes, that, that, Correct. that was going through my mind. Correct. Yes, Correct. And, and I was like, because I started selling pies by um, schools in Lavender, success mm-hmm. comes with it, and the silver life center on the main, on the back road. Mm-hmm. And I was loving it. I was loving it. You understand? So it's like, hey, this is something. This is this is really what I am too because mm-hmm. I could get up, make this fire go, and interact. You understand? Right. And sell right. my product. I know right. I know I have a good product, so I want to sell this product. <laughs> so then now I know I'm making fire, fire real good, but fire selling out. <laughs> now it's time to elevate. I write to my big fire, so I go in the class. <laughs> you want to see what I can do? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Miss Miss. She say wait. You know this? <laughs> yeah, you know. And then when the first day she gave us the thing and said, "Do you find now?" And I went to my next fire come back. Yes, you You can tell this is what you're interested in because <laughs> you know the time she said the pie, she said yes. This is what they come here for, you know. So, and then with 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 her saying that now is like yes. I'll do it. I'm ready for them. Yes. I don't write to lead the class and run tell my friend. Miss Dan gave any encouragement there. She said, all right. She gave any blessing. She tell you, all right, you can yeah, I could, I could go, I could lead a class. I had a new certificate. I could, I could make this pie, I'm sure. You know, <laughs> and then she was like, they have other things they could learn, you know. And then she was like, you know, the cakes and everything. And then we gave them an exam for the, for the bread cake and pastries. Mm-hmm. The cake was not coming out right for nothing. Oh, shucks, because your mind was only on that pie. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to fail. <laughs> No, I want the certificate because it's the last, it's the final exam, you know. All the money wants it, but now, okay, I done went through all that whole process, <laughs> get my certificate, and it's like the morning is like the cake can come out properly. I have to make over another cake. When I make over another cake, get a cake break. I say, you know what? Let me teach me icing in this class. I know how to icing a cake, and I make icing and I touch up the cake and carry it. <laughs> well, so when I when I get my when I get my grades, I was like. Okay, because <laughs> I didn't know what I mean. I don't have that feel automatically. Correct. But it's my persistence that I actually know that I have to, even if it's not what you tell me to produce, I have to produce something. Correct. Correct. Always pay your best pay abilities. Always pay your best pay abilities. If I give a customer something and the customer tells me, I do not like it. If a customer says I do not like it, Ask any of my customers if any of them have ever told me this. I would go and give them something else. Must because inspired. <clears throat> the customer is always right. They are not always right, but you know they they are who building a business. Correct, 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 correct. And that, and that's about having pride in your work. You want to make sure that when the customer receive it. It's at their it's at their best. Yeah. So sorry about that. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. So you want to make sure mm-hmm. the customer receive mm-hmm. their stuff at the best. So it so you will always give them the best always. Excuse the guys. <laughs> He's not a baby baby camera laughing. He, yeah. like, he, like he, he wants to get a little show, man. He wants to get a little show. Yeah. <laughs> but that is, that is my listening ear. That is my little brother. He's my listening ear. He, he is the voice of reason in, this, in my business, at least. Yeah. Correct. You see, support. We talk about that. Support. support. That is support. part of this moment. I'll support there. Yeah. yeah, that's your yeah. support system. We need that. <laughs> yeah. You always need your support system. They always must be there choking the fire. I look my support system now, dumping my system. <laughs> so you see, all the support always there. They always there. They must be there to help you guide and guide you. Yeah. So yes, it is very good. As I said, I'm impressed. 
for the time that I have seen you on Instagram and all that you have been doing, I'm impressed. And you see, it's only two years, even better. Yeah, so you all yes, have plenty yes. to learn. And you see, she learned a lot within that two years, right? And it, and the journey isn't finished yet. She still have more to go. I just watch, I just watch Food Network constantly. <laughs> constantly. Because my thing is, in, as I say, we never too old to learn. So Correct. There's always something else. There's always right. something that hey, some new I need, to, I need to know. Correct. Correct. There's always some new technique. Always, always. There's nothing. There's never a day that you don't learn something. You always have a day you will learn something. My my hardest thing in business is um when like with sales um. Seven. 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 How much you the silly thing about it is, I might I might find it's a problem now, but it's just probably because of my business new or it's young still, and I need to put back mm -hmm. my cash into my business, you know, right. to, to to grow or to build, right? Mm -hmm. But. We need to put down something. We need to pay ourselves. Correct. Correct. And no matter how small it is, even if it's a $5, I tell you, remember, I just always think that even if it's a $5, every meal you pull out, that's, that's for that. That's for, for, for me, that's just to put down for the business. It is that that's small. Why I follow, that is why I follow you because, you know, the little money talks and has go through. Even if I might soon come through on the page every time. But I like, my, my one o'clock hours is like, I'm not going to mess on this page today because I need to learn something. <laughs> you, you could start small. That's why I always tell people, you know, they, there are things that are written in books that will say 25, 10%. But you might, not, when you now start, you might be able to manage that. So go what you can manage with $5. Every sale, $5. is for myself, $5 is to put back in the business. Because there will come time that you may need to reinvest but it is to buy a better stove, some fancier pots, some fancier cutleries, whatever else you want to cut. I don't even buy a I just buy packaging and where's that? Correct. Correct. Because you want to make sure you, when you're cooking, you know, you're cooking on the top of the quality. So you want to get the best stove that you can get that you cook the food faster, more economical, everything, and you're finding all the best pots you want to find, only best cutteries, all those simple things. So you have to put aside for that to get that and still give yourself something. Yeah. You can't be working hard and pay yourself. I always say that. I know. I know this. <laughs> yeah. Even if it is a matter of taking yourself and giving yourself a spa day, that's your, that's your payment. You could do that. Mm. Ooh, yeah, look like it. <laughs> that is why I know I am still learning. I have a lot to learn. I have a right. long way to go, but I am learning. And that is important. Don't stop. At this stage in my business, I am a sponge, or I want to be a sponge, so I could at least soak up everything I can find, every little bit of knowledge. True, and that's what you're supposed to be doing. And more businesses are supposed to learn that. Investing in yourself. So that you will be able to go to another level. You're never supposed to stay at the same level. Today you must be at this level and tomorrow you go a different one. Something else must change between yesterday and today. And never today, stay yeah. the same spot. If you stay the same, so that means you didn't learn something. You didn't learn nothing. Nothing, nothing changing. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And you will never have growth. The growth need, you need to grow. Like for instance, this whole virtual thing. That was originally my goal. I wanted my business to be a virtual business. I love it. <laughs> it so. And that God was in motion for different, in different reasons. Correct. Yeah, different and that, was in, that plan was written in 2020, in 2011. Yeah, 2011. I mean, 2020 when it happened, look, look how long before that plan came to pass. But I waited, yeah. right? Sometimes you just have to take a longer. It might, if, if COVID didn't happen, it might have taken even longer. It might have taken even longer, you know? But yeah. 
goals you have to set goals yeah go set goals and you have to continue work on it continue correct 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 and that's why I say I'm, I must commend you I watch you from the day you say you wanted to do the saving challenge to now and my goodness all I don't see is the boy come on. <laughs> all I don't see is that boy and I say now nah, she have to be one of the people that I'm going to teach you I don't know how long she in business but I could see the determination and the willingness and the boldness she has inside her just by how it is you portray yourself So you see, if I could see that her mom, other people would see it, and that's the, and that is one thing I always complain about. People, social media, they have people marking you, observing you, but they don't speak, so you are not aware of if what is exactly. making an impact. That is the bad with social media, but when you are on social media, they have more eyes to see. Cause sometimes you put a post. I just try to see for myself. I put a post on nobody ain't gonna say nothing. But if you put it on stories, you see a ton of one people. Everybody like, watching you. It's like what happened there? You understand? They're always watching, but they they they're not they're not being interactive. They're Correct. They're not Correct. support when they're not they're not Correct. even if it's not if it's not verbal support. They're not doing that. Correct. You understand? Correct. And because. Correct. Because it might be me, it might be you. Because I don't like she or yes, yes. In a business, you know that kind of way. Correct. I mean, mm-hmm. you need to stop that. You really and truly need to stop that. We need to start showing a little more love. If there's mm-hmm. enough space in this world to have more than one person have the same idea, is not competition. It is not competition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on the bread, on the bread, child, as the meme or whatever say. And you brush up with a hundred of bread or ten, twenty different brands of bread. Correct. It's a double on every corner. So there was ten different Danella Richards on every corner, every post. Every time they look, it was still more and it was still more posting. True. They would come up to me quickly one day and they would see, hey, she just was just on every post again. Right through, whole day. And then, you know what? They would say to themselves, You know, I feel like I'm tasting that one today. Let me try it. I feel like I'm tasting this one. Let me try it because you know why? I'm constantly going at it. I'm constantly pushing myself. You understand? I'm not coming and say, well, um, um, share my my page now, or I just me as a person, I would come up and I would so I see somebody post something that I you know I like. I will share the proof. Sure, I will share right. the proof. Correct. 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 You don't know me. I don't know you from nowhere. Correct. I will share the proof. Correct. You understand? Correct. Because what's the whole trick on you? You understand? Go support. You understand? Correct. Okay. I might not have something that you may want. Mm-hmm. Or the person might have something that you may want. But somebody might know somebody. You know somebody. You understand? Correct. Correct. That word of mine is still important. Would have bought it. Most of the times, most of the times, your 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 customers has come from people who you don't even know, <laughs> and people who know somebody. True, true. That would have bought this power. That woman, I tired, I tired to meet people like that. Eh, this person tell me about you. It's like, okay, all right. Oh. You understand? So you 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 can you you never know who you never know who may be the person. True. <laughs> Yeah, you never know. You never know who may be the person. You understand? So I would come up. I would see something. I would. I would post it. I would share it. I would like comment. I and you know some people don't feel like um. She tell them the same thing like you or you tell them the same thing. Correct. I know the point. As you rightly said earlier, on, the double vendor by that corner, double vendor is two different double vendor and and it has to buy the same one also. <laughs> My people, my people. Correct. Who is being used for you? You can study. I might think for something by you. Correct. I might think for something that you tell him. Correct. You understand? Correct. 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 It, it it doesn't take nothing from me to share your posts or share her posts or his posts or nothing. Correct. 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 You understand? And if if we all help each other. Everybody will get a chance to. That's how business is. Because 
If I just want a dollar, it's having a dollar for you to get a dollar for you to get a dollar for nobody to get a dollar. <laughs> we need more people to understand that. You see that? We need more people to understand that. I can sell it bread, you can sell it cheese, you can sell it milk, and we all eat. And everybody make us, and the person make us sandwich, right? We all eat. <laughs> you understand? So, I will say I can't enter the person who may not know how to talk. Correct. Who may like to talk. But just that. <laughs> so people who are going to work, coming home and say, you know what? I'm not fit to sit in today. You know what? I I will take up the mantle. I will hold the torch and I will I will lead. You know? I will lead the way. You understand? You will have people who will be like that because one, life is hard. Or sometimes they just don't want to see the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. You like the kitchen? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> But I love what I do, so I will continuously go at it. And you I will tell people, I am not selling today. I'll be talking more. I'm not selling today. I'm closed. Mm -hmm. And somebody called me and say, um, where are they? Push up. And... You're going clear. That is it. <laughs> that is it. Because I love it. If I didn't like it, if I didn't love it, yeah, then... Co correct. Correct. Close Correct. You know? As I tell yeah. you, you find your, you find your, you find your passion, you find your destiny. Food is my passion. Food is my passion. That is really your passion, because if it is, you could tell me you say, comfortable. Correct. If you could say you're not, you're not cooking today, and you somebody called you and it, and all of a sudden you want to cook now, that is your passion. <laughs> my passion. That is no doubt your passion. You're really following in your right footsteps. For me to say I actually are really not doing anything, but I would still end up in the kitchen cooking or something, but not to sell. I actually have to have something to do or something to do. Like, oh, I, I know I had this thing, mm -hmm. but I know I'm not taking time. I'm not doing anything else. Correct. No, but. Other than that, you're in the kitchen. In the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the kitchen. <laughs> that is good. But that is good. I want to. Um, I want to go into probably teaching school and nutrition. Mm -hmm. Teaching young ones to cook. Correct. I think I have the patience for that. Where teaching children. Yeah. Yeah, and and that will be something that is needed now. Yeah, people people need. Rascal, I think we need to teach our young girls and boys. Yes, both. Okay. Correct. Correct. That is true. That is how I start mine too. I tell them here what you cook what you like. And you force you to cook your cooking what you like. You like spaghetti and meatballs, you cook that. You like pilau, you cook that. You master that. When you master that, tell me what next you want to cook. Yeah. Yeah, so you can never go hungry. You will never Correct. go hungry. Correct. Correct. Because come days sometime you you get older, you leave the nest. You have to know how to cook. But then again, in my, in my lilliness, know how to cook and fall on hard time, fall on a hand and make something on the road and you need I a skill. I have to come back home. That's okay. No, you need, you need a skill. You need Correct. a skill. If you're Correct. not cooking, you need a skill. You Correct. need something to push Correct. you forward. Well, I would always, I was always used to say, food is one thing that will always sell because we love to eat. Yes, you love to eat. Yeah. You could get that right. Something to sell, sell. People love to eat. It's in our no way. Two things I always say people love to do, eat and drink. Look, I actually see, I don't know if you noticed that a few, um, what I call um, barmen making um, cocktails to sell people to come and buy. I say, but what is yeah. this? Look how you can yeah. the bar closed. All bar men. We go with the kids to this pandemic where we saw or where we could actually see now that hey, it have it have things that they could do. Come Get a push them. Correct. And because all the time we were staying in one little one little oh, corner, no. saying yes, yes, and that is just it. Mm -mm. 
as um the guest from Monday to us saying that she does do hair, but it push her into doing something else. Mm -hmm. Let me push her into Correct. doing something else. Correct. You yes. have to open up your mind and see what next. You have to constantly Correct. keep going to what Correct. next. Yes. Correct. Correct. Once you stop, everything gone and leaving. Correct. Once you stop, everything yeah. turned down. Yeah. Everything if I try to cook today, my customer to somebody else. Correct. Correct. The sound is always moving. It's always moving. You have to now keep up. You have to be constant. Relevant. Correct. Correct. You have to be constant. You have to be constant. You have, as you rightly said earlier, you have to be in the face. <laughs> in the face. Right. True. Posted. Keep in the Keeping them, you know, hanging them that way. I still here. Still, I still here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. Um, you have to be in their face. You have to be in their face. You have to be, and you have to let them know what it is, what is your benefit, what you get when you come by me. So, oh, as I said, that, tell everybody where they can what find. You. Okay. Especially so, ones so that I see a lot of people just pop in. Ready for just on there. Tell them where they can find you. Well, I'm on Facebook, Latoya Donella Richards as well. My Instagram page, Latoya Donella Beauty Services. Um my contact number, I give out this number freely because it's my business number, seven eight five three four five four. You can call to place an order, WhatsApp. You understand? Within reasonable hours. As we can meet and greet and collect your food, it's an online service. Um, soon to be moving to a spot so that persons who want food all the time will know exactly where to find me all the time. Right. Then um, I'll be posting it to my page soon, but mm -hmm. um, you can get any type of food from my me. You understand? Um, I cater to. Every ethnicity, Indian, Chinese, they get some wonton, they get some curry, they get some crab, they get some corn, they get some bread and all. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And has bread does look nice from the petition. Cheese <laughs> puffs, um, puff queen. Message me, call me, place an order, and you get it. And we didn't we didn't we didn't have no um you have no specials until so like as Valentine's coming up and yeah. okay well with Valentine's mm -hmm. I have some, um, specials that I posted to my page mm -hmm. but I'm also going to be doing a mini giveaway for, <laughs> for Valentine's which will be posted in the morning. Yeah. So how are you the birthday? So uh when is the birthday? My birthday is on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. My birthday is on Tuesday. Yeah. So I will, oh, well, I'll be feeding the homeless, as always. Okay. As always. There's something that I constantly do it, so why not? Why stop now? Continue. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Give them, them. a little Sunday lunch. This Sunday? Okay. Sunday, this Sunday. Okay, okay, okay. I'll okay. so, give back to them on Sunday and for Valentine's, a mini giveaway. Ooh, I, have, I, have a, um, I had a giveaway on my page last year called A Random Act of Kindness. Mm -hmm. uh, persons who figure that someone in their life knows somebody. So you know somebody who need a random act of kindness, you understand? And they was getting like um pops or cupcakes or okay yeah okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. like if you're having a bad day and you just send it yeah. to them. That is a nice idea. I love that. I love that. I know where. All right. So when I want to do them kind of Christmas, I know who I have to call. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice idea. Because it's always nice to give back. That is always the sweetest thing, and you said it more than once. Giving back is the sweetest thing. Somehow, it don't have words to to say it, but when you give back, it's like something magical that's happened. We just prayed loud. Yes, we so. 
and feel so so comfortable. No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, giving back this will really be magical. It's really give you a nice light feeling. And somehow it's just things that just are fall in place when it is done. Yeah, it, that is so true. That is so true. I, I feel like if I have to be off balance, like, you know, like, somebody might ask me, um, you have food that I really don't have, and it's like, you know, no, nah, I don't have, and then it beats in my mind for that days. Is you know, it's like, what was talking to me, they know. You tell me to get a pussy, something. <laughs> and you didn't listen, and you didn't listen, yes. Yes, I know all that. I know all that, yes. <laughs> Sometimes you have to learn to listen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just have to learn to listen. You just have to learn to listen. Listen. Listen to the support. Listen to yourself. Right. Listen to your body. Yes. Listen to, listen to your heart. Listen. You have to listen. You have to listen. Yeah. You have to listen. Well, it was nice to know you have here. And thank you, everybody who came on. If you're, you all know where to find her, you all just go on her page. As you see it, you will want to eat. You all always be hungry. Just make sure, as she said, make sure and call at reasonable time. Don't be overdoing it. And know some of you are light away. Last minute to call. Mm, we, we no, no, no. Some, some person that message me after two in the morning. And this person, for instance, messaged me the other day after two in the morning. But I was up. But I am not going to answer a call. Correct. Oh. Correct. Yeah. And Correct. So the person was like, like the next day, um, the person telling me, um, oh, what, what customer service is this? Uh, come on, you can't message me after two in the morning. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so even if I up, that is my time. Oh. You know, oh. that is my time. Correct. Correct. So, they need to understand, okay, our business hours. Correct, correct. Yeah, and, that is, so. and that is what we have to teach people because I, when I initially started, that was the same as you. People want to, even now, when some cl a client call me after my work, hours, that phone can ring, you know, me not saying it. It can send a message. Me I don't say All you have to learn to respect boundaries is important. Yeah. It's a business. If it was, if it was a normal Brick and mortar business, you you respect it. Why yeah, you respect our business? Yeah. So, <laughs> right, we we had a mini event there. We had a mini event, <laughs> <laughs> right? So that we thank Latoya again. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you everybody who was here. I hope you all enjoyed her story. You know, we always learn from each other, and her story was no different than everybody else. The importance of having a support system. The importance of Doing the hard work, the importance of educating yourself, because it's not just today alone you're doing it, you're doing this for a long time, and the importance yes. of always listening to the voice of reasoning when need to and to be constant and relevant. So you see, everybody say it, whether they now start, whether they in their long, however it is, they still say the same set of words. And you see, she says she was shy to come on, look, she mastered the thing very well. I don't know where, what part of shy she was, but <laughs> I didn't see no shy. Did you all see any shy? I think she did very good. I'm very pleased with her. And I wish her all the best and continue doing well. And don't stop. Don't stop. And continue with the great job you have imparted to others. And, of course, continue helping your own son blossom into a lovely gentleman, because I know he will with all that love you are giving him, all that support. So, good night to everybody. You all have a good night, and thank you again. Thanks for, for having me. Coming. You're welcome, sweetheart. Good Bye. Night. <laughs>